Hello, this is a quick demo showing you how to create a key fob cutout uh, with a tiny hole but without damaging the actual engraving itself. Um, so for example, we want to make a laser packer logo as a key fob. Uh, so firstly, we load this logo up. Um, I strongly recommend that you always do this auto crop or auto cut just to remove all the extra padding spacing around it. And then normally if we do outline and we uncheck the internal contours, we would get an outline like this, right? If we laser cut this bird out using this outline, obviously there's no separate space for the little hole to be made um, unless you damage the bird engraving itself. So before we do this, let's cancel that. We are going to add a little circle. Fill it. And the trick is you want to rasterize it. Um, let's move it to the place. Let's say we want to add a hole here. But keep in mind, this is not the final cut hole. This is just a, let's call it a placeholder. Okay, now let's select both of these objects uh, and we go for rasterize. And that would convert two objects into a single bitmap or rasterized image. So this is a single piece now. And then we do this outline. Uncheck internal contour. We increase this offset distance and there we go you see the contour is going around the dot and we confirm right so now we have two layers one layer um, for the cut one layer for the engraving um, if you don't want to engrave the big round circle on the top of the bird you can let's see let's do it together um, let me select that one I'm sure you can just erase it. Let's try magic eraser. There we go. Check. That's it. And we move this contour back. Ah. Right, let me uncheck Smart Assistant because I don't like this snapping feature. Okay, so that looks good. So we are still missing the hole. Uh, to cut the hole, we are going to add another circle. Oh no, cancel. Make it smaller to the size you want and move it to wherever you want it to be. Um, another feature is that you can use this little arrow here, arrow control, to precisely move your layer or your object like that I just did so if we check the layers we have um, two layers for cutting and one layer for engraving carving layer there we go this is more obvious uh, so this is how you make a nice cutout of a key fob